Hi guys, I'm Jelly, a Jelly Book Fanatic. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the books I am going to be reading in January. January is a very exciting month because obviously I am going to be starting some new reading challenges this year and I'm going to talk to you about the books I'm going to be reading in January for those challenges. The first challenge I am starting is the All About You Challenge Part 1, which means I have to read a book for every single letter in my birthday month, which is March. So I picked out a single book for every letter in the word March. Aside from that, I also started a challenge called the Diversity Bingo 2017 challenge, which means there is a huge bin bingo card and you have to fulfill all the 36 challenges in the year of 2017. I participated in the in a December bingo challenge and I read five books and I got my bingo. I am going to be doing this for the whole year. Some of these books are in that challenge as well. The first book I'm going to be talking about, which is for the letter M of the word March and fits the challenge of a main character in a wheelchair is Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. I don't know if there's accurate representation because I've heard some shitty things about it, but also some good things. And I really want to read this one for myself. It's about a woman who starts to take care of a, of a man who is quadriplegic and he is in a wheelchair. So I will see for myself what this book is all about, but I've been wanting to read this for so long because especially since the movie came out, it looks so good and I can't wait to watch the movie, but I really wanted to read the book before that. So I am very excited about reading this book. It's probably one of the first books I will be reading in January and then immediately after watching the movie. For the A in March, I'm going to be reading Answered Prayers by Daniel Steele. This is about a woman who is married and has children, but falls in love with a childhood friend. Daniel Steele is an author I used to love when I was younger, but since then, I'm kind of getting bored with her books. She publishes a lot of books. I'm never going to be able to read all of them. I don't really enjoy her writing style that much anymore, but I don't know if that is because I read in my own language, which is Dutch, or just the writing style in oh, just a writing style in general but i am going to be reading this one and see if daniel steel is really something i want to continue on reading or not for the i march i'm going to be reading the fourth and final installment in the raven cycle which is the raven king by maggie stevewater i am so excited about this the first book the raven boys is about these four boys who form the raven boys and they go to a glimby academy which is like an elite private school and there is this girl blue who is in a family of psychics. She's a psychic herself. At least she intensifies the psychic link all of uh, her mom and her aunts have. And she meets the Raven Boys and they form this, band, this cast of characters who are going out to look for this Welsh king that Genzi, the leader of the Raven Boys, is obsessed with. So I have read the three books before this final installment and I really like it. Ronan, who is one of the Raven Boys, is one of my favourite characters, who is getting his own trilogy by the way. But I need to know how this whole plot, how this whole strange story is going to end and what kind of conclusion all of these characters are going to get. The Raven King also fulfills the challenge of reading about a main character who is deaf or hard of hearing because one of the characters in the final installment is deaf in one ear. For the scene in the World March I went with the book Coda which is the first book in the Coda series by Emma Trevane. This book also has a bisexual main character, so it also fits that challenge for the diversity bingo challenge. Koda is a YA science fiction, and it follows an 18-year-old main character called Anthem. And this is a very interesting society because society encodes people with music, with addictive and mind-altering elements. When a band member of his suddenly dies from a suspicious overdose, Anthem knows he doesn't have much time left. The romance in this book is with a girl, but Anthem has had a boyfriend in the past, which makes him bisexual. Finally, for the H in March, I'm going to read Honest Night, which is the second book in the Paradox Trilogy by Rachel Bach. This is a science fiction trilogy, and I started reading the first book in 2016, and I really liked it because I read it based on a recommendation by someone, and I was just getting into science fiction. The first book follows a woman who takes his job on a dangerous spaceship, and everything goes from there really. She meets these characters who are from different species, different ethnicities, and it's very cool. They go on this mission and this woman basically doesn't know anything about what goes on behind, uh, behind the scenes. She only knows she has to be the security on this ship, but she doesn't know what 
kind of cargo they deliver or what they are even doing. Then I have some e arcs which I want to read during January. The first one is Silver Stars, which is the second book in the Soldier Girl series by Michael Grant. This series is an alternate retelling of World War II in which girls can get drafted. It follows three girls from different backgrounds, different ethnicities and their different roles in the army. The second book is a cont continuation of that because I really like the first book. I'm normally not a fan of World War II stories but just the view, just the perspective of all of these girls really grabbed my attention. Silver Stars comes out on January 31st. For another book that comes out on January 31st, there is By Your Side by Casey West, which is one of her newest YA contemporaries. This one is about two teens who are stuck in a library together for the weekend and they get to know each other and obviously fall in love. Before this one, I read P.S. I Like You and I think that is my favourite Casey West novel up until this point, which was about two teens who meet each other through writing on their chemistry desks. The last book I have on this TBR is another review copy, but this book already came out at the beginning of November. I received my E.R after the release date and that is Shadowfall by Audrey Gray which is the first book in the Shadowfall series. This is a YA science fiction and it's about an asteroid that is nearing the earth and will kill every single inhabitant on it. This is about a space station. There are the Emperor and the Gold Court who are safe on this space station. Aside from that there are the Silvers who are underground and are also safe. But then there are also the Bronzes who have to fight for their space on this space station. And this book follows a character called Maya who has to participate in these trials to get her spot on the space station. Along with her baby brother Max. Maya gets paired up with this bastard prince but everything is interconnected to her. So, so there's the Emperor who has killed her father. The Gold Prince who was once in love with her. And then there's the bastard prince who Maya can't trust her heart with. But she has to trust so one of these people to come out. To come out of this on top and survive. And to make through all my reading goals, I actually want to pick a challenge for my TBR jar. So let's get on with it. Okay, I think I got one. Is this one? I think it is. Let's see. I got historical fiction. You can't see it, but you better believe me. And for historical fiction, I am going to be reading Becoming Clementine, which is the third book in the Velvet Jean series by Jennifer Niven. I had this book on my November TBR, but I never got around to it. The Velvet Jean series is Jennifer Niven's historical fiction series that follows a girl from a really young age to when she's 16 in the first book, I believe, and gets married. And just basically her whole life. I really like the second book in this series, Velvet Jean Learns to Fly, and I cannot wait to see how this series goes on from there. Also, the third book has a particularly beautiful cover. This is my January TBR. Let me know down below who will be reading in January or if you have read any of the books I just mentioned and what did you think about them. I would love to know. Thanks for watching.